Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the Morphe 2 collection with an item or two from the Maddie Ziegler X Morphe collab as well. Um, don't be afraid to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you wanna see how I did this look and what my thoughts are on this, love it, hate it, who knows? You'll have to find out by watching. So I'm letting my hair dry behind me because I just showered, um, but I'm planning on putting the like back part of my hair in a claw clip and then leaving these two strands out. You know, we're trying new styles with the new hair now. So just know that if this looks weird because it's straight, that's why. I'm gonna pin these two pieces kind of like up here. My hair is just gonna look whack while I'm doing this video, but it's fine, whatever. So that way it's out of my hair while I'm doing this. Just know the end vision is cute. Um, I do wanna let you know that I did buy this with all my own money, so this isn't PR or anything. Um, hopefully that day will come someday. We're hoping soon. But as of right now, I did purchase everything myself and I tried my best to get everything that we would need to create a look. All right, I'm just gonna tell you kind of what I got. So I'm gonna start with the Morphe 2 The Sweep Life four piece, four piece brush collection. Um, I have seen everyone love this foundation brush in here, so I figured I would get the whole set and try it out. So I got that and you can never have enough brushes, so this is perfect and it also comes with a little case. Everything at Morphe is always so affordable, so this is always a really good option for if you want to get products and stuff but you just don't really want to spend as much money as going into sephora and dropping 50 dollars on a foundation morphe is so perfect for this and their stuff is really good quality so that is always an option the next thing i got is the hint hint skin tint and i got this in the shade hint of pecan pecan this is a light medium with neutral golden undertones so i got this one hopefully this one works it's really hard to find your shade when you're not allowed to like actually swatch it and test it because of covid so i also got that i love the name hint hint skin tint i'm really excited to try that and then another thing that i got was the brow crushed tinted brow gel i don't know how i'm gonna like this because i use the morphe pomade which if you don't use why are you spending so much money on the anastasia beverly hill pomade when the morphe one is like six or eight dollars like and it's so good so might as well go save some coin and use the Morphe one because they're pretty much like the same. And then I use like a got to be glued. Like I literally use a hair gel to spike this up. If you've seen any of my videos, you've seen me do that. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about this because this really just like covers your brows. It doesn't really like color them in. So I might color them in a little bit just to give them a little bit of shape and then use it. Okay, then the next thing I got is the Morphe 2 Wonder Tint Cheek and Lip Mousse, and this is in the shade Dream. They were out of their super pink shade, which everyone's eye always gravitates towards, so it makes sense, but I was actually kind of excited because I don't really have as many coral blushes, so I really wanted to try that, and I also got the Maddie Ziegler Pink About It, which has the pink cheek like um it's like it's the same same similar thing to this it's just a, like a soft pink and then this comes with a pink lip oil and i saw that there was a pink one in here so i was actually kind of happy to get a pink and a coral one to be able to try that out and then another thing that i got was the morphe 2 gleam catcher illuminator this is a liquid highlight and i was really excited to pick up this because i've been really loving like cream and liquids and all that so I was excited to get more cream and liquids to join the squad and then I'm not gonna be using this today because I did get the brush set but I did pick up this sponge um, my dog stole Brookie's sponge so I gave her another one that I had so I went and picked up a different one just because I like having sponges sponges on deck and again I don't even buy beauty blender sponges for $20 anymore. I go to Morphe and get the really good ones for like a quarter of the price. Like these are so good. I actually prefer these over the beauty blender ones. So another way to save some coin if you are looking for 
products that you don't want to pay 20 bucks for one item. I think we have everything. Should we start doing some makeup? So this is the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. This is in the shade Hint of Pecan. I already said that. But this retails for $17. $17. I know this is super lightweight, but $17 compared to like a $50 foundation at Sephora. This is coin in your bank, pretty much. Okay, so this is available in 20 shades. Keep it easy. This lightweight yet long wear fluid tint hydrates and provides buildable sheer to medium coverage. The naturally radiant finish lets your skin shine through while also smoothing and blurring imperfections. You'll be looking fresh faced with just a few drops. The benefits of it is that it lasts for 16 hours, is water resistant, sweat resistant, and transfer resistant. Hydrates skin for up to 12 hours, seals in moisture, and nourishes dry skin. And it's non-comedogenic. Com I've never even heard of that. Um, and then it's also vegan. So I actually really love this packaging. It's glass. I don't know if you can hear it. That's glass. Also, um, so I have one video video before this that was filmed before I got curtain bangs and then I have one video after this one that I'm gonna upload where it was also filmed before curtain bangs so it might be like what happened to her hair in between those moments so just so you know or you might not even notice and it's probably just me worrying about it but just so you know that's what's happening I know the one that I already posted is my me doing my little cousin's makeup I turned her into beauty Alyssa Rose I will put that up here because I think it flips so I'll put it up here and then that way you guys can watch that we were super excited to film that this brush set retails for $24 this four piece synthetic brush collection helps you create a fresh full face look so you can take on the world sweep buff and blend away and blend your way to a naturally glam time I'm literally so bad at reading today. I think it's because of how much homework I've been having recently. My brain is just dead. Okay, so it opens like this. And then the four brushes are in. Oh, that's cute. It has like a little Morphe too. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right here. You can kind of see it. Okay, so this is the first brush. This is the foundation brush. They don't have any numbers on them, which is typical in collections yeah this feels really nice i love the way that it looks and like the packaging of it i think it's really classy and clean okay so this one is the complexion brush and then this is the rounded blush brush and then this is the universal highlighting brush which is always good to have extra highlighting brushes i feel like those always go pretty quick and then the last one is this packing brush. So it's a little one. So it comes with four brushes, four little brushes. Yeah, so let's get into this. So we're gonna dive in with the Hint Hint Skin Tint. I don't think I'm gonna, should I just drop it on my face? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna open it. I'm actually really happy that this doesn't have a dofa because I don't really like dofas for foundation because I hate putting stuff on my skin and then putting it back into the foundation just because foundation goes straight on your skin. I'm gonna use a primer though. I'm gonna grab the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I'm gonna apply that really fast. <gasps> okay, that looks like it's actually gonna be a pretty good shade match for me. Oh wow, this is really, really natural. Can you even like see, I think you can see a little bit of a difference. Like it makes it look like your skin, but better. If that may, I literally can't even feel it on my face. I like the idea of having that dropper there. I feel like it's very hygienic. At least for me, I don't know. Some people might not even care about the fact that the brush will like touch their face and then you know and then they put it back on I know I definitely care I hate it when that type of stuff goes on my face just because I think bacteria is gross look at how fast that runs it's very liquidy okay let's see how well it covers that crater that's been living on my forehead for a few weeks now and is being stubborn and doesn't want to go away I mean, it covered the 
the redness a decent amount for what this product is. Okay, so this is like when my Morphe babes were telling me that this is light. It is light. Like this barely, barely, barely puts anything on. It really is just a little something to make your skin look better than it is. And like, it looks so natural. I feel like I could just wear this and just let my complexion be really, really gorgeous and no one would even know. You know what I mean? Like it just makes my skin go from like having some redness spots or maybe just like some sunspots and stuff like that to like being able to still see my little imperfections but it just overall makes the complexion of my skin look really nice. I like it. This is perfect for days when it doesn't make sense to wear a full face of makeup but let's just say your skin isn't looking as pristine as you would like it to. This is a really great product to throw on and literally no one would even know that it was there. I feel like this adapts perfectly to my skin color too. And I think that's why they only have 20 shades is because of how easily it adapts to your skin color and your skin tones and stuff like that. So I was told not to set this with powder. It does not handle powder very well, so I'm gonna stray away from powder, but I am going to apply some concealer today. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Rare Beauty Concealer. I don't have the Morphe Concealer, which I don't even understand why. I, my, I had my friend buy it when I was there, but I haven't even gotten one for myself. So this is in the shade 190W. I'm just gonna apply this really fast because this is natural as well. And so this skin tint is blendable with concealer products. I think that it worked really well with this concealer. And if you are someone who does want a little bit more coverage rather than just putting on the foundation, the putting on a concealer after this would be really good. The Morphe concealer is also really, really good. A lot of people rave about it. Um, it is more fuller coverage, so just know that going into that. And it's also very affordable, which is always good. Okay, and then I'm going to dip back into that foundation brush and just kind of run it over everything, make sure everything is really well blended in. I actually feel like those two products partnered really well together. They didn't come out with a bronzer with this, which kind of makes me sad. I feel like both the brands that I've tried to review have not come out with bronzers. So I'm gonna have to just, you know, grab a cream. Yeah, because this doesn't work well with powder. So I'm gonna grab a cream bronzer. Okay, so now that I put that cream bronzer on my face, I'm just gonna use that same foundation brush and just This brush is actually doing a really great job of blending out this bronzer. I must say that foundation brush did a really good job of blending that out. The foundation does not budge when you're blending stuff in. It actually works with it pretty well, which I really like to see. Let's head into the blush. And for the blush, I am gonna use the Morphe 2 um, Wonder Tint, and that is in the shade Dream. This retails for $12. It is available in four shades. Whether you crave peekaboo color or want to dial it up a bit, this goof-proof formula delivers the perfect buildable wash of color on your cheeks and lips in a rush. Simply apply with your finger, looking for a bit of precision. Grab your fave brush for swipe support. It's no wonder this multitasking mousse will be your new go-to bestie. Alrighty, let's open her up. Sounds pretty promising. We've got a glass bottom. It has Morphe 2 on the front. And it looks like that on the inside. It looks very, very pretty. Ooh. Oh, okay. It kind of has like a matte finish to it in a way. It kind of feels powdery kind of in a way. But look how subtle that is. Okay, I'm actually really excited to use this. Okay, I'm gonna use the Morphe 2 blush brush and see. Okay, you ready? You watching? Okay, do you see how like soft and subtle that is? It's really, really natural. Looking closely into the mirror though, I feel like it took off the foundation in a way. It's a very pretty color and it's very, very like sheer and 
I mean, this Morphe 2 is a very natural thought. Like it's for people who wanna wear makeup, but they're not into the big glam and it's targeting a whole different customer base. It went on a little bit better on that side with the brush. Okay, let's jump into the Morphe 2 Gleam Catcher Illuminator next. Let's read about this one. So this is in the shade Moonbeam. This retails for $14. This apply this buildable silky illuminator on cheekbones, cupid's bow, or high points of brow using your finger or your Morphe 2 highlighter brush for a radiant glow. You can also mix it with Hint Hint Skin Tint, Wonder Cheek, and Lip Mousse, or your fave moisturizer for an extra boost. Okay, so this is pretty flexible of a product that you can use it with so many different things and get a good result. Oh, and that gives you actually quite a bit of product. Let's open her up. Oh, it's a Dofa. So I'm gonna tap, tap. We'll just do two little tap taps. We'll use the Morphe highlighting brush. And blend it out. So I like this brush, it actually blended it out very nicely. That does give a good little glow, I feel like. It's very natural, but you can I can see it in the viewfinder. You can see it too. It actually glows a quite a decent amount. So I like this a lot for that reason because I feel like you could put this on your skin by itself or just on top of that hint hint skin tint and it'll give you that extra glow that you may want um, and just gives you that like healthy hydrated look. I'm gonna grab this tiny tiny little brush and use that to highlight down my nose and the tip of my nose. So here's the tip of my nose, do a little tap. I haven't even done my eyebrows yet, but we'll just do a little glow on the brow. So far, I really liked this highlighter a lot. I feel like it did a really great job. Like, look at that. It uh, has such a beautiful pink tint glow. So next, I'm going to dip into the Maddie Ziegler Pink About It. Okay, so this retails for $18. So it says, wear these babes solo or layer them for a double dose of glam. Apply Wonder Tint for a perfect wash of color on your cheeks and lips. And top lips with glazed dreams for super luscious effects. So the reason I got this was not only one for the lip oil, but because this blush color is super raved about and everyone loves it. Also, how cute is this lip oil? That is so cute. Okay, let me open this up. This is what the Maddie Ziegler blush looks like compared to this one. So they're really, really similar. But I'm going to use the Maddie Ziegler one for my lips today. I'm going to use this as the more of like a lip base and then this as a lip oil. So I'm going to go ahead and dip my finger into this and tap it on my lips. Blend it out a bit. Don't know how I feel about that being a lip product. I feel like it might be a bit too... That doesn't really sit right with me, but I'm going to try it as a blush later and I will review it on my Instagram for story for you guys. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, this is Beauty Alyssa Rose on Instagram. If you don't follow my TikTok, I am Beauty Alyssa Rose on TikTok as well. And I do post reviews on that. I feel like it's really pretty and feels really nice. I wouldn't prefer to put the blush on my lips. That's just not really what I would wanna do. I think this would look gorgeous though on your cheeks. I feel like it would look really pretty. I do like this, I would reach for this again and I would use this again. It's very, very subtle. I feel like this is a really good topper for like a matte lip or something like that to really just give you that like zhuzh, you know, that little, that little luxurious kissable kind of thing. Okay, I have one thing left, which is the eyebrows. So I'm gonna just apply a little, little bit of the Morphe Brow Pomade just for my own sanity because my eyebrows are pretty like sparse in the front. I am satisfied with the minimal amount that I did put on. So this Brow Crush Tinted Brow Gel, this is in the shade Blonde because I am blonde, it retails for $7. 
seven dollars so don't go spending 30 or 20 bucks on something like this when you can get it for seven dollars at morphe so this says it's available in five shades get it in the right frame of mind with this lightweight gel that fills grooms and shapes those beautiful brows of yours so it's in just a little morphe too really really tiny little little brush What do you guys think? I actually kind of like it. I feel like I'm always so stuck in my ways of how I normally do my eyebrows that the fact that I like this is actually really like exciting to me. I'm kind of like, whoa. It's also very simple and I feel like we'll cut my brow time in literal half. I don't hate it. I feel like this side, let me see if I can like brush it out a bit. I really like it on this side. Eyebrows is something I don't really like straying away from my typical technique and this all might be in my head the fact that I'm like mm, About it. Okay. I don't hate it I think that once I get better at it because of how much I like this side that I will be able to use it and like function with it correctly Okay, I'm gonna pop on some mascara really fast I will be right back and then I will give you my final reviews on everything Okay, I am back. I finished Let's go over my final thoughts and reviews on Morphe's Morphe 2 collection. Okay, so let's start with the Hint Hint Skin Tint. I feel like the best way to use this would be to just use this. To not throw anything else on top of it, I feel like that would be your best way to go to use this. Maybe do your eyebrows on some lip gloss and mascara and be on your way. I feel like that is the most functional way to use this. Um, I just noticed that it did not blend very well as soon as blush and highlight got into the mix. So I felt like it did blend well with concealer and bronzer and those liquid, you know, but as soon as I tried to get the blush into it, it just did not work for me. Maybe it is because this blush is a little bit more on the matte powdery side as it finishes. So maybe a iconic London, maybe a really liquid blush would work way better with this. So I'll have to play around with it before I find before I say my like final yes or no because I did think it looked really great on the skin when it was on by itself I thought it blended in with the concealer and the bronzer really well as well so I think this is just a product I will have to play around with and find those products that accentuate it and really like partner well with it I liked these brushes I thought that they were really good I did find myself seeing that the bronzer blended out really well with this brush the foundation did blend out really well with this brush as well so I think that this complexion brush is really good I would recommend getting this brush collection because I feel like they are brushes that are a necessity for an affordable price and don't overdo it it is for brushes so for someone who may be a starter someone who might not use a lot of makeup this brush collection is actually a really smart investment because they are really good quality brushes and it has everything that you would need it has a smaller brush so you can get into the details it has a solid foundation brush for you it has a nice blush brush and a highlighting brush and you can use this for a little bit of concealer you can use this for a little bit of bronzer it really just depends on how you want to work with this so i do think that this brush set is good i would get it i would rate it like an 8 out of 10. This confused me for a second because it felt as soon as I swatched on my hand, it kind of went to powder in a way. I mean, it is a mousse, but it did feel very powdery. So maybe that's the reason why it didn't react as well with the Hint Hint Skin Tint because it does have a powdery finish. And I know that powders don't work well with the Hint Hint Skin Tint, but I do feel like if I were to use this on, you know, a typical foundation or a foundation that I would use every day I would really like this so I would give this a 7 out of 10 I think that this is really great and I think that this is an also this is also a really great way to have blushes that are inexpensive but also work really well I think it has a really pretty coral to it and I like that and I think that sometimes coral is way better to do than maybe like a lighter pink so I think that this is a really good product and I would go out and purchase this again I really liked this. I mean, as you guys can see, I am really glowing and it is a fine glow, but I do think that this reacted really well. I think it did good on the top of my cupid's bow and even as a nose highlight as well, which is a big step. It is very natural, 
but I would say that it is a little bit more, gives a little bit more oomph than the Rare Beauty highlighter. I feel like this is a really good product. I would buy different shades in this and I would buy and use this again. So I would rate this as an 8 out of 10. And I definitely also want to try by blending this in with this skin hint hint skin tint because it says that you can do that. So maybe that's the way the best way to go about it. I don't know. I just feel like with makeup right now, a lot of it is trial and error because everything is so personal and unique to all people's different types of like skin tone, skin um, oils and stuff like that. So I think that that is something I will definitely be playing around a little bit more with to see how I can get the best use out of it. I would give this like six or 6.5 out of 10 only because I just do not think that brow gels like this, like tinted brow gels are for me. I just don't think that it's for me. I am very specific. I feel like kind of with how I like my brows and I'm not like mad about how I'm wearing it right now, which is why it did get to the sixth view and I probably would use it again on another natural look. But to me, it just isn't really Beauty Alyssa Rose friendly, if that makes sense. It's not gonna be something that I would typically reach for in my routine, but this could be a product that someone who doesn't like to use a lot of makeup, just wants to throw a little bit in before work, like this could be a really good product and then I would recommend that to you. But if you are someone that likes full glam, it's not, it's not my favorite in that terms. The Maddie Ziegler Pink About It Morphe Collab. I personally wouldn't use this on my lips. I tried it, it was kind of weird. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It looks good right now, but I felt like when I first put it on, it kind of made me be like, what? So I would use this on my cheeks and I think that this would be absolutely stunning on the cheeks. I think that this would be so cute and kind of like cute. I don't know how to explain it, like how I'm envisioning it in my head, but I think that this would be really, really, really cute on the cheeks. I do love this lip oil. I feel very hydrated. I like it a lot. I really do like this. So I think that this little duo is a must get. It is affordable and you're getting two products in one, but I do think that this blush is going to be really, really pretty on the cheeks. And I do really like this gloss. Yeah, that's my thoughts. I am confident. Let me say this though really quick. I do feel confident enough to wear this out in public and like go do stuff. Um, so don't get me wrong and think that I just absolutely hated all of this. I was very honest and I do like to share negative and positives about items while doing these reviews, which is how I think it should be. Um, so don't get me wrong if I do say something negative about an item, I don't think that it's not worth buying. Um, if I say something negative, I'm just pointing it out because makeup a lot of times is very personal. So something that is a negative to me might be a positive to you or is positive to someone else who's trying it. So this is just personal to me. Yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. So a lot of the products on here I did like and would reach again and I am not mad about purchasing any of them nor do I feel like I would return it. Okay, I think I got all my reviews out of the way. Overall, I still love Morphe. She's the best and I am a Morphe babe at heart. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are enjoying me posting a little bit more on here. I hope to keep that going as the fall gets going and maybe as I go back to school in the spring, hopefully we'll see. Don't be afraid to follow me on all my socials. I will have them all linked down below as well as all of the products that I use in this video. I hope you beauties have an amazing week, weekend, whenever I post this, who knows? And I look forward to seeing you beauties in the next one. Bye beauties. Thank you.